What's up guys, Ben Hobson here, uh, driver of the Pennzoil Mustang RTR Spec 5 FD. My ultimate drift chassis is a S650 60th anniversary Mustang, man. They are amazing. I love them straight from the factory. They're great. So just a little bit of mods are even better. Um, they're the ultimate drift car in my opinion. You can drive them to the track, drive them home. It, they're great. So my biggest influence to getting into this crazy sport that we do for our, our livelihoods was a uh, good friend of mine, best friend, known him for a very long time, Alec Hondadell. Guy's a G, um, absolute menace behind the wheel and all around good guy. That was, uh, we grew up about 25 minutes away from each other once I moved to Florida and uh, we, we became friends. I went to a track, local drift event, just go watch. Seen him out there drifting back when he had his blue S14 back in the day before he was doing Pro-Am and, and uh, got to ride along with the guy and just blown away. And uh, yeah, I was like, I'm definitely, definitely doing this. Already like, you know, messed around wanting to do it. And I was like, I am full fledged doing this. It was the coolest thing ever. So there's a lot of people that I looked up to, uh, Vaughn Gittin being one of them, just because of the, I've always been a Mustang guy and seeing him take the Mustang and win the championship in it. And, and you know, uh, James Dean, like there's all these guys, but uh, I'd say my biggest influence for my motivation to run FD and get to where I'm at, probably my, my good buddy, Alec Honnadel. He, uh, he definitely was a huge influence and uh, he pushed me to be a better person, better driver. I'm a big flick guy. I'm not, my nose ain't pointing the opposite way of the zone before I flick in, something ain't right. So um, lead runs every single time, big flick. Uh, doesn't matter where I'm at, how fast we're going, we're doing a flick. So chase is a little different, you know, maybe, you know, small flick, sometimes handbrake drag, just depending on, you know, the situation. But my preference for entry is always big, nasty flicks. The most obvious biggest change was the chassis. Oh. Um, I've had Daly's Mustangs for a while, I love Mustangs, but I've never had a full-fledged drift car Mustang. And uh, the biggest challenge in, I say, Pro 1 versus, I'm sorry, Pro versus Pro Spec would be, honestly, my, my anxiety level. Just because I've always watched these guys and now I'm, now I'm chasing down guys and leading guys that I've watched for years and whatnot. So I just have to dial it back a little bit you know play the play the don't drive with your brain game and drive with your these johnnies down here and uh i think we'll be solid but that's the biggest the biggest thing for me is the the expectations that i put on myself um you know coming from a great season last year and then coming in to this year and just like straight up you know I'm, I'm a very humble person but i'm getting even more humble you know these guys out there everybody out there is a ripper no matter what like you see everybody trash talk people because they don't they don't see them from the other side but like every driver out there in pro one is incredibly skilled incredibly talented and it's 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 awesome it's easier i'd say because you get to you know you get to drive hard behind everybody whenever you're chasing people but the amount of speed that we're carrying versus prospect uh the amount of tire smoke versus prospect um the just the straight up anxiety level versus prospect is crazy, but uh, it's it's still manageable and um, it's an experience. I love challenges, dude, and it's been a huge challenge. And I love it. Most most exciting thing ever is getting to wheel a freaking RTR car, dude. That's it's insane. Extreme low or drift spec? Hmm. I'm more of a function over form guy. Uh, but I also, my Mustang is slammed, but it's still functional. Like, it rubs a little bit every now and again, but a little rubbish ain't no, you know, ain't no big thing. But not a, not a big stance guy, I never have been. No hate towards it. I think it's cool, I think it looks neat. But uh, for my form of driving and my uh, recklessness, <laughs> definitely, definitely drift spec. I'd say like definitely Vaughn Gittin Jr. That I mean we've driven so many demos together by now that it's like we're literally touching our buttons, talking to each other mid drift, mid transitions. Like oh pass me, pass me, pass me, and then we'll flick do a pat. Like that's probably the most exciting person to to tandem with because he one is a G behind the wheel, doesn't lift, 
and he knows these cars better than anybody does. So it's like, I'm following him and it's like, if I'm not up close to him, it's because I'm doing something wrong. And I know that he's not gonna do anything wrong because he's just, he's so in tune at all times. It's, it's really, really, really cool being able to chase him because you know for a matter of fact, unless his car breaks, you can put it right in his door no matter what. I feel like the new trend for everybody is like keyboard warriors and I hate that. Like everybody has, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinions. Like that's, that's cool, but I'm not a big like spread hate guy. I'm more of a, you know, spread positive vibes across the, the, you know, the world, the universe is like, you speak negativity, you know, I feel like that you're really just speaking that into your own mind and whatever you think you do. So I, uh, I feel like a trend is to hop on and start hating on people. And I don't really, I think that's, pretty low and you know I don't really like that but my, my new like favorite trend in drifting is you know everybody's only out there on the track like nobody sees that but we're all like that's the biggest thing of, of drifting is everybody everybody's there for each other like yeah we we want to win I don't want to you know I don't want to see somebody lose but I also don't want to get beaten like it's straight up we're heads up and uh I think the uh, the trend of uh, just freaking sending it and having a blast is what I'm what I'm vibing for. Word of advice for somebody wanting to get into drifting: Do it, dude. If you want to do it, do it. Like drifting to me is my my happy place. It's where I can go be myself. Like you're not, you know, today's time of you know you're not you can't go out and do a lot of things without getting in trouble. Like, but now we, we have the platform and the stage front to go out and show our skill sets in these cars. Like, if you want to do it, do it. Go find a car, go practice, go get seat time. Don't, don't worry about what people think about you. If you spin out, good, who cares? I've done it. We've all done it. We've all, we still do it. Like, you just, it's okay to not be good when you first go out. You ain't gotta be the best. As long as you're having fun and being it. My motto is as long as I leave the track a better driver than I showed up, I won, no matter what. I don't care though, I don't care if I'm holding a trophy or not. As long as I progress through the whole event, I won. I'm getting better, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. So that's all that matters to me. Uh, seat time, seat time, seat time, seat time. If you can't afford to go out and do that, get a sim. Go get, get a simulator and drive, 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 drive as much as you can. It's just like, it's a very expensive sport. Like it's expensive, especially if you want to go compete. But in my opinion, it's cheaper than going, you know, going doing crazy stuff, you know, every weekend or going on fancy, you know, trips or going to the bar and doing all that. Like we get to have fun with our cars and do what we want and get to showcase our style. So if you want to do it, just go freaking send it, bro. Go grab a car and go do it. Who cares? So this is what I've figured out how to explain it in like easier way. All right, S chassis, Apple, Mustang, RTR, steak, both food, you know, both in the same category. They're both drift cars. But this one right here is a freaking monster, right? Like the biggest difference is you know, S chassis are nimble. They're 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 small. They're they're this. They're that. And the Mustangs, it's more of a set it and forget it kind of car. Like you have to be online. You have to be ahead of the game. You have to be, you know, predicting what they're doing before they do it to to be there. Like it's a challenge to drive those cars. They're not easy, but it is the most fun I've had behind a wheel ever, dude. Like hitting the throttle and doing a wheelie like this around a bank. That's that's gangster. <laughs> they're insane dude but uh they there is no similarities to them besides well they're both drift cars like that's it like they are completely different in every aspect of how you have to drive them and how they handle but they're both great mustang is just it is a ride dude so the fun factor of the mustang just blows everything out of the water though dude